Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. With Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles. From the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Christopher. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Mr. Peralta. Welcome. How are you? Buenvenidos to Google's de Cervezas. Yes. The Beer Googles. New bumper music. What up, bumper? Excited. Bumper. Bumper cars. Yes. Today? Yes. We, uh, we're doing a, we're doing kind of a listy thing today. Listies? We're doing a listies. <laughs> uh, I sent one to you. You did? And you were a fucking asshole. Why? Why am I an asshole? <laughs> because you sent me one back. I and did? when I clicked on the fucking link, the top yeah. is REI Co-op, all about the goddamn pocket rocket. I've got the pocket rocket ad right across the top because the goddamn cookies, you motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're uh, you're welcome. Yes. Uh, how would you like me to respond to the, I, your new pocket rocket? It, do you, are you, so are you going to get a stove or are you going to get a lady pleasure device? If I buy it, yes. will the cookie go away? No. So I'm just not going to buy it. If you buy it, stove. you will get some cookies from come? Mrs. Fields. If you buy it, will they come? Oh, uh, hey, hopefully if you do it right. No, what? Well, what happened was last week I came across this article Yeah, that was 14 questions for athletes that we've always wanted to ask, but never got around to. And then you countered me with 101 incredible sports facts that will blow your mind. <laughs> but you but you chose a hand, hand selected. I chose the ones that I liked. Excellent. Yes. And I thought they were great. So I think we should just go to it. Get to yeah. It. How's your Without week Without further ado. Ado. Uh, it's good. 9th. I worked last night. It wasn't too bad. December 9th, 2020? Yeah. We're getting there. Right. Medi New Year. It's beginning to look a lot like... Um, the weather outside is weather. weather. The weather... The weather outside is weather. All right. Everybody's um, surfing now. Let's go surfing. All right. Come on a... Come on safaris? Yes. Come on, Eileen. That's and so other stuff, it. too. That's why I love you, man. I don't know the rest of the words. Wish I had there some words. overalls. And no t- no shirt underneath. And right. your arms behind your back. Yeah. While you stomp. That was the best trumpet I've ever heard. Oh. Yeah. No, this is the best trumpet you've ever heard. Huge. Your huge. trumpet. Your my trumpet. Tr- you have a huge trumpet. My trumpet. It's huge. <laughs> Sounds just like it's almost like a trump bone. Whoa. Trump bone. Trump bone. <laughs> I've got a trump bone. Are you, bone are you the you. entire brass section? Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm woodwinds. What? Yeah. I believe you. Uh, oh, I'm up. We're starting. I'm well, sorry. Well, what what are your thoughts about these reading uh, them? Some of them are really fucking interesting. Some of them are stupid. Some are there's totally like one stupid. dumb one, but most of them are pretty cool. Many many of them are, but they're fun dumb. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. So, um, from your list of 101 crazy motherfucking things or whatever, I don't think that's accurate. Oh, um, let me see how accurate I can get. I don't think they're that crazy. Remember that last one we did? We oh, did. Yeah. Truly outrageous. outrageous. And we're like, the internet called them truly outrageous. And I was like, yeah, they're really not. It's called clickbait, bro. They were just kind of cool. Yeah. They were CBB, clickbait, bro. Yeah. They should have called it. Yeah. These were kind of cool. Yeah. They weren't truly outrageous. But no one's going to click if you're like 25 mundane answers to questions that you have. Well, and they were interesting. (laughs) And I like, you know, it was, it was fun to go over them, you know? Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. That's why we go back to these. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess I should have realized they were clickbait. <laughs> they don't want you to be like, 25 truly boring as fuck things that you don't want to read about. Please read. Don't click on this. Yeah, scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> you just go right by it. See, like this one, 101 incredible sports, sports facts that will blow your mind. That's, my, a, that's a total lie. My mind has never been blown as many times as people have said that it would be. Literally, it's everything stayed together. Yeah, your mind's never literally been blown. Never. Figuratively, maybe like nine times. Nineteen. Nine times. Are you ready to go with number one? I'm ready to go with number 20. Yes, because they're super out of order, bro. <laughs> they're totally out of order. The one after 19 and then 19 is... Number 20, I believe. The country of the Philippines, also known as the Philippians, in an email I got one time... Wait, Philippians like the verse Bible? Yeah, somebody two. said 
the Philippians instead of the Philippines. And I about peed my pants laughing. Do you think it, do you think it auto corrected? Uh, I, I don't know, but you know, Philippines, Philippians, whatever it takes. Philippians, that's really close. It it's, isn't there an extra N or well, something? I think it's P. I think it's, I think it's just at the end. I A N S versus I N E S. You, you could probably screw that up. And if your brain's not all wired, right? Well, mine's definitely not. Well, yeah, you're, you're, you would have fucking said Luke. <laughs> From or the like country Genesis. of John. Yeah, it's like, hey, from the country of Genesis. What? what? Right That's the fuck? planet in oh, Star man. Trek 3. Totally. G- so I started Genesis. saying a reading from the book of the Philippines. I mean, Philippians. I Sorry. like it. I, I, like Chris cr- I totally crossed the streams, bro. <laughs> the country of the Philippines has competed in the most summer Olympics without winning a gold medal. How many Olympics has that been? 20. 20. Yes. So for 80 years, 76, because it's like the first one's the first one, then it's four years, right? So it's. Yeah, it's and they, they they missed one because of World War II, correct? Possibly. I, I believe there was yeah. one that was skipped. You would think. If right? not. T- there was a 36, right? With Hitler. 36 was in then Berlin. 40 wouldn't have happened. 44 wouldn't have happened. I 44 probably didn't. I assume 44 happen. not. Yeah. 40, I don't 40 know. 40 may have been yeah. because they invaded Poland in 39. If only we um, did had research. A, had a. We have a crack research team. We have a beer Googles, but we don't give a shit. Yeah. This is beer Googles, bro. Give me give me another Jack Daniels. Yeah. That's an that's a really interesting if, fact. Yeah, though. I thought so too. Philippine, the Philippines. The Philippines and the Philippines. Compete in most summer Olympics, twenty of them. Yeah, that one. Have they ever? Did it mention anything about? I know this is just tic tac, but I don't know if you did any further. I did zero tic tac. Have have they done any Winter Olympic stuff? Uh, just bobsleds next to the Jamaicans. Correct. I don't know. Are are they bad drivers? Yes, just bobsleds. They're very good drivers. Very, very, very bad bad bobsled drivers. Got it. Okay, they don't have a bobsled driving. They don't have a Bob Bondurant bobsledding. Correct. Bob. The school of Bob Bondurant bobsledding Bob's. has been closed because of COVID, sir. Bob because of Bondurant. the cove. I love the cove. E, 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 ah, ah, ah. Isn't that the beach? In the co- well, been there's a cove. Before. There's a cove in the beach. Sure. Sure. Have you ever no, thought? Not one time. Damn. Never. You've never thought? Nope. Have you ever thought, though? If Even though you haven't thought. Have you ever thought how synchronized swimmers dance underwater? No. Do you think they can hear the music? No. Do you think they hear the music? No. Is this going to get good? (laughs) One of the main attributes of synchronized swimming is underwater speakers. Shut the hell up. So if, if no one knows what synchronized swimming is, it's... Treading water over water, lifting your arms in a, in a synchronous Legs. way, as in synchronized, and then going underwater, but there's also music playing, right? Yeah. Well, there's challenges with that, because the sound travels faster through water than it does through air. Because There's it's challenges dense. like you could drown. Now, you got like eight teammates to like Rescue you, CPR. Yeah. <laughs> synchronized CPR. Synchronized CPR. One, two, three, Get four, five. Get Debbie out of the pool, quick. This yeah. is not a drill. Could be a drip. That's pound cake. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. But without the music, swimmers wouldn't be able to perform underwater if they weren't able to hear the music, right? What? So because of the difference of water air resistance, there's a dissonance in the music when Whoa. it's played underwater. This is why these pool special audio systems are used to play the tune exactly as it should sound. Holy shit. So I'm curious what the delay is from like above yeah, the ground I'm and below. Because like how, cause it's got to be milliseconds and they know the chemical composition of the water. I'm sorry over there. They know the chemical composition Ooh. of the water. And then they, when they come up for bre- air, they yeah. breathe it in over there. Yeah. And then they can still hear the same music. Over there. Yeah. But that's pretty interesting. So there are speakers underwater and they must be timed or set synchronized speakers. Why? Well, how come they don't win the gold medal? Because the Philippines came in fourth. <laughs> oh, the, they were the, the speaker company is a Filipino company. Well, Casio, and they went out of business, dude. <laughs> so the Philippines came in fourth in the nineteen eighty four Summer Olympics in L.A. Um, they they did synchronized swimming to uh, Rain and Blood by Slayer, and they got the lead medal. 
Wait, the, are you telling me the G Shock is no longer made? Is Casio really out of business? I don't yeah. think you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right? Casio's out what? of business. Didn't they make the G Shock? The G Shock? It's the one you could drive your car over and like nothing will happen. Ah, uh, we I, drove our cars over them. Many G Shock. Many G Shocks. Because nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your, what's your uh, next uh, interesting tidbit of... Liechtenstein, also... Liechtenstein. Also the, also the homeland of so, Sir Ulrich von Liechtenstein. Sir Ulrich. <laughs> has competed in the most Summer Olympics without winning any medal. What? They came in dead last in synchronized swimming. <laughs> They're like They had two drownies. I'm from Liechtenstein. <laughs> uh synchronized swimming tragedy and they in have the no team, medals and two deaths. Team Liechtenstein. Two two synchronized swimmers drown because the speakers weren't set up properly. Uh the year after Sol Ulrich won the big jousting tournament, they made jousting into a, a sport, and but then he, was, no, he was too old to qualify. Retired, yeah. Correct. So you mean Mr. Thatcher? Yes, William Sir, Thatcher. Sir Thatcher. That's really interesting. And there's 16 of those, from what I 16 this, this is Summer 16. Olympics. That's pretty crazy. Sir Ulrich like von Liechtenstein has never won a medal. Now I see Liechtenstein. I thought it was just L I C. Not. It's kind of like the chlamydia thing. Yeah, there's a couple silent H's there's and some silent Q's. It's a, I don't, I don't <laughs> it's like a long word, bro. <laughs> That's crazy shit. Oh man. Over to you, check mark. All right. Let me ask you this, my friend. No. Why do tennis players grunt during the game? And it's not a dad joke. They're trying not to poop. I don't know. So I feel like grunting would make me poop because well, it's like bearing they're trying down. To keep it in. I don't know, dude. Because uh, they're constipated? I don't yeah. <laughs> That sounds that sounds porny. It is. Have you listened to a t- tennis match in the last couple of years? No, I it haven't. sounds like a goddamn porn. It sounds like a pterodactyl will come oh, out of dude, nowhere why? and go. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking uh, hate you, dude. No, man. So tell me, tell me about it. Why do you think players? I up? assume they would do that to have the ability to exert more force. I, I don't know. Excellent. The first, I, I really have no idea. The first thing I thought about was boxers because you're, and I think that's when they hit, they exhale to get that extra little bit of energy. Oh. So whenever you hear, it's yeah. actually through their mouth, mouth guard. Oh. They're, they're sissing. Yeah, because they're like, mm. well, they they tend to do it with uh, with tennis as well. If you've seen professional tennis players on the court, you've definitely heard the grunting. It sounds like a porno. <laughs> it happens because they Is hit that the balls. Utennis dot com. You tennis balls. You balls. You balls. Dot com. Shit. Fuzzy. You fuzzy balls. Dot com. Oh, shit. You fuzzy green balls. Dot com. Oh Wait, my we god! Can this website going. is ridiculous. It is. Aren't they well, yellow? They hit the ball during the. Wow, well, we're gonna get to that, sir. Oh. Why don't you just relax? Oh, fuck. Because that's another tidbit. I'm so that's coming sorry. Down the road. See, look at you. You show what you uh, precog me, bro. You just, you just minority dot com. me. Um, so they hit the balls during the exhale. The harder they hit, the louder the exhale. Sometimes it sounds like they're screaming. Maria Sharapova, have you heard of this tennis player? Uh, I believe that's Shaq Mark's favorite pinup girl. She is. I love the Maria Sharapova. She's <laughs> beautiful. Her, take a guess. How loud in decibel you think this Maria Sharipova sounds? 66. 101 decibels. That's freaking loud, man. Yeah. Um, an underground train, the tube, the subway, whatever you want to call tube. it. Only 100 decibels, bro. Wow. So Maria Sharapova has set, I mean, plays tennis <laughs> louder <laughs> Well, it happened. Does she have a penis when she thrusts? She goes oh, 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 when, she, when she puts the strap on. on. Uh, what? What just? Ha- <clears throat> what just happened? I don't know. You can go back to you now because I think that video of me bearing down is really. Awful. <laughs> I'm traumatized. You should be. I traumatized. Are we over? Can, can we? Are we, we done can, with tennis? Uh, uh, no, we're not done with tennis. No, did you finish we're done with why they do it? Yeah, because they basically they hit the ball when they exhale. The harder they hit, the louder the exhale. But it really is. It's kind of like a power thing, and it's kind of like the, the same thing. The same. But idea is grunting behind. required? No, but it just happens to make it. 
aids in the strength of the thing coming out, but it's more distracting. I think it's now used as a distraction ploy, personally. To to throw your other player off. So it, it's to distract the opponent? I I am very distracted. Have you ever played? I played a lot of tennis. So whenever I had a grunter, it was like, shut the fuck up already. <laughs> like this. Bro. Bro. What's with the, the grunting, bro? Yeah. And then, but I think it's gotten louder and louder because it's shown to be effective in winning. Whether it is a little bit of distraction and or a little bit of the extra power could be a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. That's that freaking weird. Isn't that we is really weird. <laughs> so after after uh, the Filipinos and the Liechtensteinos, other countries. What 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 do you got, man? So in the you 19- got Philippians. Yes, the Philippines and the Philippians. What's Liechtenstein in in the Bible? Uh, Leviticus. So we've got Philipp- Lazarus, Philippians. Leviticus, is Liechtenstein. Lazarus? I got. I don't know, dude. Is there a Lazarus? Lazarus? I think there's a Leviticus, but Leviticus not a, is, is a, a Lazarus. A book. Yeah. Lazarus was uh, just a person. Was a dude that died that Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah, brought back to life. Yeah, I, it's I, also I, a movie, like the Lazarus Syndrome or something. I think it is the effect. Lazarus, right? effect. Lazarus effect or something. Sure. Possibly. Sure, why not? Dead Flat like liners. zombies and shit. It's called flatliners. Fatliners? <laughs> um, fatliners. Does uh, that keep fat in? Is it like a? Uh, isn't that just called a boost? That's DA called liposuction, a, bro. No, the thing, the liner, the liner that holds it all in. A it's girdle? a fat liner. Yeah, a girdle. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat liner. Okay, sure. Moving on. In the nineteen seventies, Jack Nicholas. Played all 40 majors and made the top 10 in 35. That's for all you golf fans out there. Jack Nicholas is one of the greatest golfers to ever live. There's four majors played every single year. And he finished in the top 10 in 35 out of the 40. And that is incredibly impressive. That is super fucking crazy impressive. Yeah. So he made the top 10 in 35 of 40. Correct. He played Grand in all. Slam. He played right. in all forty. All four. So right. you have to qualify to get in. Correct. To yeah. Each one, the Masters. Well, yeah. You know, you, well, the, the Masters, U.S. Open, the PGA. And once you have your card, though, you're in. No, you have to qualify every year. If you can be a PGA Tour card holder, but if you're not good enough, you don't get in. So mm. you have to qualify. Like, and then if you've won a tournament, you get in. If you've won the Masters, you always get to play the Masters the rest of you for your life. That's, that's what. what so yeah, that's what I mean. Like, but, there's one that you're locked in. Once well, you've got, once yeah, you've got but. In. No, not I, everyone. Like you no, can start to suck, not. and then you don't get to go to the U.S. Open, right? So, yeah, absolutely. It's, um, but he's one of the greatest to ever live with Arnold Palmer and a couple other guys. And I mean, Tiger's up there, but I think oh, he yeah, burned out a little bit. He went, and, oh, he went hard and fast to the paint. Yeah, he had less of a longevity. Well, uh, he's he's kind of back a little bit, right? Isn't he playing? Well, yeah, he long? won the Masters last year. He won two tournaments. Man, at forty-two years old, but Jack's won eighteen majors, and Tiger's won fourteen. So and steroids, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, he was, he, he's, he's freaking b- big, dude. Tiger was, yeah, yeah. Knows the doctor that knew A-Rod, yeah, from the street. Oh, yeah, we talked yeah. about that. Yeah, we, I'm, I got a thing, bro. I got you a have thing. a thing? I got a thing for uh, you. I'm glad you have a thing, bro. I do have a total, I've got the biggest thing under my desk for you. Is it a stick of fury? It's my foot. Oh, okay. It's huge, huge, like your flippies. huge. So let me ask you this. We, no. We're coming off the interview with uh, super, super duper, superstar hockey legend Brian Prop. C. Right? I think this is the next one. Sure. Possibly. Yeah. And um, he's a hockey player. NHL, 1,016 yeah. games, 1,004 points. Fucking ridiculous career. Played with Lemieux and Gretzky on the same line in Team Canada in 1987. Team Canada. That deserves one of these. All right. Mr. Prop, proper. That's beautiful. Now, we heard an interesting tidbit. In his entire hockey career, how many teeth did he lose? Zero teeth. Not a single tooth. Yet he did share a very interesting story with us. Yes. He had a stroke, right? He had blood clot go to, go to the brain, fell out of his bed. Well after he retired. Well after he retired. He, he falls out of bed, and what happens? He hit his head on the nightstand and lost two teeth. Two. Dose. Two chiclets <laughs> post-NHL chiclet, career. Dennis, and he played a, over 1,000 games in the NHL. That's just fucking crazy. But this is this is the question, right? Why do hockey players not get tooth implants? Well, yeah, that is actually a good question. Why don't hockey players get tooth implants? Tooth hurdy. 
That's, oh, that's, what, time, dental, that's what time, that's what time go hockey players go to the dentist. To get implants. It's tooth hurty. So the equipment of hockey players includes a mouth guard. Okay. According to athletes, even if they wear the guard, it doesn't necessarily mean that by the end of the match, their smiles will be exactly as they were. A famous incident happened in 2010 when Chicago Blackhawks hockey prea, Duncan Keith lost seven teeth at once when he was hit in the face with a puck. Damn. And these incidents happen quite often. I sp- I mentioned a Philadelphia guy was uh, Le- Ian LePerrier. LePerrier. He got hit in the face. I think he lost six, between six and eight. I think it was seven or eight. Seven. Seven or eight teeth. <laughs> it was exactly between six and eight teeth, so it had to be seven. He came back out in the third fucking period with a fucking thing, but he played in the same game. Not so, man. Kudos. Again, I, too, I can't hit the applause button enough, but I won't. Don't. No stick of fury, sir. I, okay. I Keep wasn't. Keep that shit holstered. Okay. Um, so he's hitting the puck. These incidents happen quite often. Before the end of the career, few players decide to get implants. If their jaws are injured, it'd be much harder to fix the damage if they had implants. Oh. So I would have thought that too. It's like, I would wait till all of my facial stuff is done. All the teeth are fully gone. Right. So, so the day you retire, you go get implants. Except for, unless you're proper. And then you'd lose none. You have to wear a mouth guard when you go to bed. Yes. That's what you have to do. Yeah, for so. sure. Smart. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Don't get implants until like your career's over. But how weird is that? He didn't lose one tooth and then he he has an incident at home and boom, two gone. That's pretty weird. Really weird. Weird. Fifteen years. In a jail. Next. I've, I've been waiting, bro. Babe Ruth. Baby Ruth? Who? Babe Ruth, one of the greatest baseball players ever, only won four World Series titles in 15 seasons with the Bronx Bombers, known as the New York Yankees. I think you should follow up with the next one because I think those two really need to go together. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, back at the Batcave. The Joker was trapped. Was he a smoker? Was he a midnight toker? Yes. Beautiful. Meanwhile, the littlest catcher in the world, hey, boo-boo, Yogi Berra, won 13 World Series in 18 seasons with the same team, the New York Yankees, 30 years later. but So Babe Ruth won four World Series in 15 years. Yogi Berra won 13 in 18 seasons. And there was also the curse of the Bambino from Boston, correct? Yeah. Well, they hadn't won in a hundred years, almost a hundred. Yeah. No, it was like 96. I think some 90, yeah, some crazy number, right? Because they thought when he got traded, that was the curse, right? That curse of the Bambino from Boston to. Yeah. For those that don't know the in 19, uh, it was a hundred years ago now, more than a hundred years ago, Babe Ruth was traded from the Boston Red Sox to the New York Yankees and the Yankees started winning world series and Boston didn't win for almost a hundred years. Yes, so sir. they call that the curse of the Bambino. The curse of the Bambino. Just like the uh, Cubs had that goat curse for the yes. year thing. You want to tell, tell, tell them about the goat curse? Fuck that. Fuck Some curse. guy brought a goat in. He's like, ah, you can't bring this goat in here. We don't take goats. I don't know. Is They're delicious, though. They are delicious. Goat tacos? <sighs> are table tennis and ping pong the same thing? No. Damn, you're really good. I read that article. Sorry. I like David Zhuang table tennis champion for New Brunswick. Ping pong is a game you play in your basement. Table tennis is a sport. Thanks, David. Thanks for that. We need to bring Ricky <laughs> Schroeder's thumb back for that one. For, for a long time, both of these were used for the same game, but now table tennis is an Olympic kind of sport with its own strict rules that ping pong players often neglect. For example, the rigidity of the racket surface. Rigidity? So I didn't know it had to be hard. <laughs> my mom said I like to play with my ping pong paddle but they say if I, if I play with the super ultra tune ping pong paddle they're going to pay me money that wasn't terrible that was a pretty bro that was good you may not be a smart man but you know what love is I do know what love is I may not be a smart man I do know what love is get me a tissue hey Billy Joe would you like to sing a song with me shut it when September ends. <laughs> is Billy Joe from Mississippi? He's from Green Day, bro. I know he's from <laughs> Green Day, Alabama. He's he's from his mama. Back to you. Back to you, Chuck. Back to you. 
go back to you. Go, go. That light has been on way too long, sir. Okay. Are you ready for probably the best one? I know. This is like an early load blower. I think. Do we close? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Figure, do we close on this? When asked why he didn't win gold medal in cross country in the 2010 Olympics, Norwegian skier Odd Bjorn Helmstedt said, I think I've seen too much porn in the last 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've check mark check look my hand hairy I go blind what do you want I, too much how porn. did you expect check mark to win he couldn't see the where he was supposed to ski that's a beautiful thing man I, I don't understand like I was exhausted from the porn so I couldn't participate in the Olympics correctly or in the Olympic village they had better porn than in than in Norway what it, I don't I'm so confused I've heard stories about the Olympic goings on in the village where they get a little randy. But I get, well, the whole thing is like, don't boxers not have sex or masturbate like up to a week before the fight? So uh, if this dude was in the village for two weeks and he was just spanking it all day. He's probably like, I'm for to being tired. Why like didn't most, he go try to find some too. synchronized swimming chicks? Yeah, but they're that because they're in the Summer Olympics, bro. Oh. They're, they're two years apart. What about some bobsled <laughs> chiquitas? Yeah, but I'm saying you can't blow any load. Blowing the load is what makes you lose your chi, bro. Yeah, I understand that. Whether my, it's in a sock or in someone's mouth. I in someone's was, oh my gosh, coochie. stop talking. The question is, why didn't he just go try to find a nice lady friend instead of watching so much porn? I bet. His trainer's like, you don't have sex. You need to save yourself for this. And he's like, he's got you. He's got you. Uh, you tennis balls. You tennis balls. You fuzzy balls. He's got you porn, bro. Okay. So he probably was, they probably were trying to keep him away from people. He probably is a little horn dog. And they probably kept him away from people. And then he's like, well, I've got an ulterior mode. I've got ulterior means. It's 2010. I can stream. Fuck it. I'm so sorry. That I even put that one on the goddamn list. I think that's the best one. Because we went fucking sideways. <laughs> well, what? Okay. <laughs> hey, tell me how to play that one straight, and then we'll play it straight. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know how to play it either way. Crooked, straight, make a left turn. I got nothing. It's got to be the most interesting one. The guy blames porn for not winning the gold. For not winning the gold medal. I'm so sorry. I disappointed. Disappointed in my country, I watched too much porn. Yeah, did he All win a training. medal? I mean, did he get the silver? I don't, I don't know. Even know. I didn't did... even. I didn't. I didn't give a shit. Was it stuck to the pages? He won he... the lead medal, bro. Lead. Tell him to get the lead out. Oh, I did already. No more <laughs> lead in pencil. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this, bro. No. Oh, why do soccer fields have stripes on them? So they know when the ball goes out of bounds. That's actually a really good answer. Very close to the truth. Soccer field lawn mowing requires you to have knowledge and skills. Because every few feet, the grass should be different in terms of color. What? Darker than lighter than darker than lighter. Like striped on the field. Okay. So how you achieve that effect, do you know how you achieve that effect? Uh, you know that because I think you've done that before. Uh, you mow in different directions. Just like they do in baseball fields and everything else, right? When they mow patterns and whatnot. Yeah. Because that... The uh, Arizona, the Diamondbacks. Yeah, them. They're pretty. <laughs> don't they? Don't they have a pretty cool like manicured field with lines? No, and shit? they have fake grass. They do. Yeah. What about the Cardinals? That's real. That is, is real. It, I wonder if it has stripes on it though. It's. I think it's all one color. I don't know. I know golf courses do that. Wait a minute. No, no, stay on you. Because because you're the baseball guy. But the D-backs have fake? The, uh, two years ago, they moved to Astro Okay, Church. what was it before then, bro? Come on, don't fucking play semantics with me. For 20, 20 years. 20, 24 years. Housekeeping? You like me fluff your pillow? Crank collar, crank collar. That's, that's not me, bro. I am on the airplane mode, dude. It's check six, check six. We got a bogey on your six, bro. Oh, we got the telemarketer. Oh, uh, would you? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello telemarketer. You're not going to answer it and put them on the air? We should be like... Hello. It's probably a recording going. Hello. Hello. This is Checkmark. You are on the air. Go ahead, caller. That would be awesome, dude. That would be, That'd be our first call. <laughs> our first call. Hey, you're our first call, and thanks for calling the beer. Googles. You're the big winner. How can we you help win you? nothing. 
<laughs> when hit pay dirt with K dirt. Oh, Whoa. Hello, Holy shit. There. Now I said it. Anyway, so to your point, yes, I didn't know they switched, but that was only two years ago. What they doing before? They had some pretty cool patterns and shit on there. Yeah, they had the big A in yeah, the, the big in, A in the in the, in the outfield. Di- yeah, they had really cool stuff. I yeah. thought. Yeah. Anyway. But it's necessary for the referees to locate the players on the field for offsides and whatnot and to see them offside. Oh. So it's almost like having yard markers without actually putting the tech marks like you do on a football field. Oh. So it's a natural way of doing it. But it makes sense. Oh. Because you have to have references. Reference points. Yeah. Reference points. Oh, it's, it's one one step from that green dark green spot. Oh, two steps from that light green spot. Three. Three steps. Ah, 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 ah. Apparently, uh, the count is a referee. He is the count on the football soccer team. Yes, but he also masturbate fourteen oh, too much God, times on dude. the board. You started it, bro. Oh, I, and I regret it. You instantly regretted it, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you know what? There's only one way to erase a bad memory. Uh, create another bad memory. Create a worse memory. <laughs> and this is the one that's coming up. So I think it's your oh, turn, me? man. I, I believe so. That's your camera the skills. Honorable off, Bill Buckner, first baseman. Tell us the story first. For the Boston Red Sox, nineteen eighty six. Against the New York Mets, the Metropolitans. Metropolitans. Game six. Game six of the World Series. Uh the Mets hit a slow grounder to first base, and Bill Buckner blew the play and the ball went between his legs and the Mets won the game ended up winning game seven and won the World Series and they that's part of the curse of the Bambino the Red Sox still didn't win until 2004 and other people blame Bill Buckner yeah Bill Buckner was like death threats and it was crazy because he was hated by Boston for so many years he was the goat but not the greatest of all time if you notice Boston has two goats they one do. goat is Tom Brady yeah. The other goat is this guy, and he's a scapegoat, right? Scapegoat. Well, what's funny is, have you ever seen the interviews about this thing, uh, uh, about about Bill Buckner? No. He talks about, he's like, I was injured, and they put me in. He wasn't even supposed to be, he wasn't even supposed to be there. <laughs> like, no joke. Like, and they finally, because they finally won, a, won one, they forgave him. Yeah. But he was... Shout out. Now, you would you would argue that Bill Buckner was an anti-hero of Boston or an enemy, like whatever, right? Yeah. He was like a goat. But this other gentleman who you're going to bring up. Yeah. His name is? Ted Williams. And what was he? He was like a hero. His head is currently frozen in Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Over I'm there. In different to areas. the east, this bro. Uh, Bill Buckner, who was the scapegoat of Boston for many years, has more hits than Ted Williams, one of the greatest baseball players to ever live. Ted Isn't Williams hit 400, an average of 400 over the course of a season. Percentage. That means four yes. out of 10 uh, times he was at the plate, he got a hit. Correct. And in layman's terms, if you get a hit three out of 10 times in baseball, you're a great player. And power hitters are like two and a half, even in some cases, 275, something like that. Yeah. Because yeah. they're hitting for power. Right. For- so this guy, it'll never, it most likely will never happen again. Ted Williams hit 400 over the course of a season, and that's never happened again, and most likely never will. Probably not. So he's one of the greatest to ever live, but this other dude, Bill Buckner, has more hits than Ted. I even looked at the numbers. It's close, but it, Buckner's got about 100, almost 100 more. He's like 2,700 some hits, and Williams only 2,600. I, I looked it up, actually. Which, I mean, it's still really, 2,700 is a lot of hits. I'm just saying, like, Bill Buckner is like, though, he's, to your point, he's like, and he's like, Boston hated him, and Ted Williams was like a hero there. And if you look at it, Buckner was just as, Mm, whatever. What do you want? Productive? Yeah. Well, and if Buckner didn't blow that one world, if that happened in July in Baltimore, nobody would have any idea. But because it happened in the World Series in the bottom of the ninth, and it blew the game, which and then you know the momentum turned, and that they blew the series ended basically because of that. Yeah. So he had twenty seven hundred hits. But that, it didn't though. That's the funny thing. It's not like it was the game seven. Just like Bartman's wasn't in game seven, correct? True. Correct. The, the the team had another game. They were already up three games to two anyway. True. So True. they were already ahead in the series. Yeah. yeah. This may have been a turning point for sure. Yeah, the momentum right. changed and the team couldn't rebound from that. Correct. 
But technically, they had the whole other game in hand y- to have that happen. Yes, they had another game to come back and and tr- redeem themselves, and they didn't. Have you ever watched on YouTube the play where they do the they do the play by play of it? And they do Atari baseball. No. So they can, like, there's a video game. And they go strike, and they they actually go through the play. And the guy runs up to the ball, and the ball goes. Oh, it's going through his legs. Like he moves, and the ball goes by him. No. I'll to, That's I'll Vince to show Scully. To I knew on, that. On, I'll just show it to you on YouTube. No, okay. it's hilarious because it's the Atari, like it's yeah, the Atari it's video animated, game that they played right. to it. Oh, it's so fucking great. Yeah, everybody knows that play Smart. and that the sound and how. Um, God, what's his name? He's number eight for the Mets, the catcher. Oh crap! My buddy, the Mets fan, is gonna kill me for not remembering his name. No, it was way before then. It's way before Gary Carpenter. Yes, Gary Carter. Carter, who passed he won, away. Right, because he won. Yeah, he had cancer. I think. Yeah, right? he's the one who scored the winning run in that right. game. He won in eighty six. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the Mets. So, uh, Lenny Dykstra, I think, too. Uh, Roided out Dykey. Yeah, most likely yes. <laughs> Dalton. No, was it on the mat? I don't think he was. And then they went to the Phillies and did all yeah. stuff. Kurt Schills, all the good peeps. I love that's a great that's a crazy stat though. Like it is. if you think Ted Williams was arguably known as the greatest hitter of all time, which percentage wise Well, he was percentage wise, yes. He just didn't have as many at bats as the others because obviously he didn't have as many hits. So Or perhaps he had less his career was shorter. Right, you know, less he didn't years. have as many at bat. Right, correct. I, I was thought trying to he think. had a pretty long career. Though, I thought so too. And maybe it was different back then. Maybe they did a lot of switching, and I don't know how it worked. Because Babe Ruth was a pitcher when he started, right? Yes. And they took him away from that because they wanted him to hit every day. Yeah, correct. So anyway, can you become a professional athlete by watching videos on YouTube? Yes, you can. Uh, if it's table tennis, fuck yeah. Is it? What if it's masturbating? Like, <laughs> Like Bjorn Van Douchebag. Oh, shit. If you live in Norway and you're qualified for the Olympics. <laughs> Cross-country masturbate. What are you Fuck rustling? You, what are you doing I'm over there, I'm trying to eat bro? my Uncrustable, bitch. You can't fucking eat on the goddamn podcast. We've had this conversation. Why? This is... No. Oh, uh, I got muted. Fuck no, bro. No. Wait a minute. I think I muted myself. No, you did. You're, you muted me. Hi, Son boo. Bitch. No, this... We've had this... How come I can't hear myself now? We've had this talk, bro. Yeah, you're not green over there, dude. There you We've go. We've had this talk. Oh, it's a monitor. That makes sense. <laughs> We've had this talk, man. Uh, you had this talk to me. I wasn't listening. Well, you're not. Dude, that's like the so dissonant. You can talk with your mouth full. I'll give you something to put in your mouth. <laughs> talk with your mouth full. Like that. Is it M O O F F? Mouth. Mouth. Let me tell you something about YouTube, bro. Let me tell you something about you born on YouTube. It might be difficult, but it's possible. <laughs> There's only one case in history where an athlete didn't have a coach and still became a professional. Steroids. And even won the world championship and got a silver medal in the Olympic Games. Steroids, what? The guy. You don't need a coach. You got the Russian thing. You ever see Icarus on uh, Netflix? Oh man, we should probably do a do a breakdown on that one. It's about the drug, the doping scandal. Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah. What'd you think? Crazy. Crazy. And How do you say crazy in Russian? Crazy. <laughs> Local. Crazy that's, trade. That's he flew too mm-hmm. close to the sun. Yes. Um, anyway, the name of this hero who won a silver medal without a coach is Julius Yego. During the first several years, he learned to throw a spear just by watching YouTube videos. So he participated in the javelin? Yes. And it was only once he won the African Games that he started. It was only one, once he won the African Games that he started to look for a mentor. So he was just like throwing a spear for fun. And then he threw a javelin for fun, and then he won something, and he's like, oh, maybe I should apply myself. It's pretty impressive. That's very interesting. Do you think, he, did he just watch the Revenge of the Nerds clip with Lamar? Yes. My name's Lamar. Lamar Luttrell with his limp-wristed uh. throwing style. <laughs> Do you know what uh, event has been added to the 2024 Summer Olympics? I think I do, but I don't. Tell me. 
I don't. What is it? I don't remember. It's like on the tip of my tongue. What? Let me see. It's not there. Break dancing. No. Yes. I did not know that. That yes. definitely would not have been the answer. Is that or is that not a sport? In my opinion, my humble opinion, no competition that is judged or no competition that has both offense and defense on at the same time are sports. So take that as you will. You're going to hate me for that, but that includes offense golf. Offense and defense at the same time? Correct. What? Okay, but you said if it's judged? Judged, so gymnastics, okay, ice skating. A, yeah, because it's a visual thing. It's, that it's it can not, be skewed by humans. Correct. correct. But what about offense and defense on at the same time? You well, mean like volleyball? Volleyball, no. both. You're both. Well, you're, the, the competitors are on the same field at the same time. I'll give you an example. In golf... Jordan Spieth's not trying to knock the ball away as Jack Nicholas is trying to knock the ball in. Which would be awesome. Would be totally cool. Wouldn't it? <laughs> but you just what is that? Is that cross golf? I don't and I know that sounds weird, but I just have a weird thing about what sport is to me. And sport is that where it's directly competitive. Because you're not actually playing against other people in golf, for example. You're playing against a flat number that is yourself, generic. really. Well, par. Just you're playing, against, you're playing par. against par. You're not playing against other players. It's right. not like I have to beat that guy. Like the whole I beat that guy, that's a mental. That's a total mental thing. Whereas in football, you have to actually beat that guy, right? You well, in football you actually have to hit your head against somebody else sixty one times in a game at thirty two miles per hour. That's true. To win. Right. Right, and that's where like darts, golf, pool are all amazing, high skill level professional things, but they're just not a sport to me. So, should break dancing be in the Olympics or not? No, it's judged. I already said that. It's not. It's, no, you asked if it was a sport. And I'm yeah, say I'm, no. I'm asking different questions. No, it's not a sport. It can be in the Olympics because it's ice skating, dude. We have the Grammys every year. Do you really okay, care well, what music not, is? No. Right. God damn it. The Grammys and the Olympics are not the same thing, dude. It's all pomp and circumstance, bro. I, but I love pomp <laughs> and circumstance. <laughs> I like pom-poms. You, well, yeah. And why don't... How come there's no cheerleaders at the Olympics, dude? Because that's that's a different judge, bro. Ready? Well, I'm not saying there should be cheerleading okay. Olympics. They said there should be cheerleaders at the Olympics. Like, go team! Yay, oh, volleyball! Like during the Woo! hockey. Yes. yes. Not like volleyball. You're the best cheerleaders. Here's a silver medal. Not like that. Fuck that. Right. I get what you're saying. Where you're, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go it's USA! Weave. I think it's called the people who fly out there with their flags going, woo. I think they're called the audience. They're I was thinking more like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. So that, yeah. I agree with you, but there's no football in the Olympics. Why not? There's only football in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no El football. Soccer. No football, right. What are your thoughts about it? What do you think? I think breakdancing is a bunch of shit. Okay. Why, well, how is that different from gymnastics or figure skating or synchronized swimming? Yeah, I, I question it all because the Olympics, I, I like the original Greek Olympics. Yeah. Two Javelin, wrestlers get in, one, put, right. You know, yeah. two men enter, one man leave, beyond <laughs> Thundercrotch. You Correct. know, so... And then they added the Winter Olympics. And I love the luge and the bobsled. And I love all that shit. But it's not truly what the Olympics were thought of, the marathon. Like, there was a real-world application to the original Greek Olympics 2,000 years ago. Right, back in the day. So now, now it's... Well, they've added. Obviously, it's expanded. Some of the X Games, though, are pretty amazing. Right, but the X Games are not the Olympics. Well, yeah, but they've brought a yeah, lot they brought of now those skateboarding in, in right? snowboarding. And like snowboarding. And but once again, as amazing physical feats as a 900, 1060, whatever, flippity flop, 1066, flippy, 90, double air, reverse Howie Mandel style <laughs> guffaw. Um, <laughs> like they have to germaphobe at the top of the turn? It's still judged, right? It's still a judged event. And I anything that has judging, to my opinion, where a human determines what you're worth, where it can't be timed. Like, when you race each other, you're timed. So the bobsled is timed. Yes. Yeah, so that's that makes sense to me that that's a, nor that's a sport, right? Because it's, it's a measured beginning end thing. And don't crash. And the fastest one. And don't die. Goes. Yeah, please don't. And don't skeleton that. Or lose it like the dude. The skeleton? The lose. That's fucking rad, yeah. dude. Uh, my physics teacher was on the U.S. He was an engineer for the U.S. skeleton team when it was back in the 90s. Before it was, it was still a demonstration sport. 
when it was really dangerous. Went, yeah, head first. It's where you're just laying <sighs> yeah. on your stomach head yeah. first going like 80. Yeah. Like this far from the ice? Fuck yeah. that. All That's right. awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, anyway, this guy, javelin thrower. Yeah. Threw a spear. Now yeah. I threw a javelin. Yeah. Had a coach. Then he won. YouTube. YouTube's the crap. Well, you porn's probably better than YouTube, according to the Austro- The Norwegian Van, dude. Van Herkenberken? You mean Herky Jerky? Oh, ah, Von Bjorn Helmstead. Oh, yes. No, that's a different one, man. Oh, well, sorry. That's the knight and his tail. I think it's your turn. You should stop chewing and, and maybe swallow. It's my swallow turn. Oh, it's my turn. Go. I'm so sorry. And maybe you should change the video too. The phrase <laughs> about winning something hands down originally referred to a jockey who won a race without whipping his horse or pulling back the reins. I should have saved that for our weird phrases. That is a really interesting. I know. We I, I thought so want to sprinkle in to Tambian. So basically. The guy's like, I won hands down. Because he didn't do anything. He right. just rode the he horse. He just rode the horse. He, he just sat on it. the Actually, he just sat on the horse, really. So it should have been called pull back sitting down. Yeah, I won, it, I won it on my butt. Yeah, butt down. Maybe he was standing, though. You know how they stand when they're kind of like... Do the horse thing, bro. Yeah, you do that pretty well. Dun, 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 dun. I fought in your general direction. <laughs> Oh, we have is a stupid accent. <laughs> we are looking for the Holy Grail. There you go. Hands down. The origin of the phrase. Crossing of the streams. I, I don't know why. I feel I feel like a lot of eyes are on me right now. There's no eyes on you now, bro. Are you okay? Um, I'm trying to get through. Okay. I need a paper bag in which I can breathe. Okay. I don't I can't help you. Why do soccer players shave their legs? I don't know. I was wondering that also. I didn't even know they did. I didn't know that either. I just thought they were smooth and silky. I didn't even, I've never noticed that before. I've never looked, right. Because they're always wearing the shin guard thingies yeah. and socks. Yeah, they're up to their knees in shin guards and socks. Why? I knew bicyclists did. Interesting. Bi- bicyclists shave all their stuff. Is that and just for aerodynamics I'm as much aerodynamicals. as every little bit? And also, Tambian, the uh, swimmers shave all their everything. So they're smoothing in the water and then they have the weird one remember we talked about well we'll get to that one probably at the end but you remember they have this thing called now a shark skin suit that actually has a little roughage on on the for swimmers and it creates these eddies that actually make you more streamlined through the water wow because the water's mean so they've they've made those illegal they used to have these full oh, they're body illegal yeah they're not that's why the shaving they can do the shaving in the cap to be smooth, but actually having this weird surface. It makes you faster? makes you faster, and we'll talk about that, how that affects another game later, because I think there's another one later. In, oh, God. In anyway. Is it but, out of Norway? Probably. I think it's out of Scotland, okay. actually. Or, or is a, it's somewhere on the aisle, I think, isn't it? Is there a piper down? Piper down. It's not curling, I'll tell you that much. Curling's no. a great sport. We got only, You know they only get the curling stones from one place. Canada? One claw- quarry. No, it's in Scotland. Oh, sorry. Shit. Tapestries. <laughs> <laughs> According to soccer player Matthew Sheldon, like I ever heard of that fucking guy, he and his colleagues shave their legs because it's comfortable. Do they shave their co- each other's legs? Their colleagues? That would be awesome. Like, in a, they braid each other's hair and shave each other's legs from behind. Like you a smell great, belly honey. Turk- when they have sleepovers. Oh, my God. And then they lay their heads on everybody's stomach and they go, ha, 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 a belly tickle circle. <laughs> and they all start giggling like in Brady Bunch. Withdraw the question. See, how come every time you say something and then I say something, you say I withdraw everything I said before? Because that. it went down a shithole. So it's me. So you're saying it's me. Uh, it's definitely not me. It's you. So finish your yeah. fucking story. Athletes have leg massages several times a week, and the oil that it gets that, or I'm sorry, the oils. Blah, 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 blah. The oils and gels that are used during the procedure can pull the hairs. Besides, players often have to use band-aids, so shaving the legs makes it easier to do. In the end, it's just more attractive also. So basically, band-aids make sense, pulling them off, pulling the hair off all the time, or like the massage where it would rub against and pull on hairs. That would suck. Makes total sense. Everyone says I shave my legs, but I don't. I never have. And I'm going to let you take a look, and you can tell me. Um, uh, Do I have to? Well, just look. Just can't her down. Doesn't it look baby. like I shaved my legs? Yeah, dude. They're smooth as shit. Yeah, it's weird. I have like one hair. Just one. And it's super light. And when I first read that about the soccer players, I thought 
do they mean the whole leg or just like below the calf? I didn't get it. I was like, what? Well, there's generally no hair on the upper thigh. Not I never, as much. I mean, I've watched soccer. I mean, not a lot, but I've watched the World Cup and I've watched the Olympics, but I've never noticed that they have bald legs. And well, once again, you can't see it. First of all, they got shorts and then they got the socks pulled well, up. So there's a little spot between upper thigh yeah, and you mid see and these knee. And like the top of their. Yeah, but I mean, those parts aren't hairy in general anyway. I mean, maybe with you. Are you a, are you a gar animal? <laughs> For reals, bro. <laughs> Dude, if you took off your shirt, would I have to tell you to take off your sweater afterwards? Yes. Oh, see, I'm... <laughs> it's funny. We talked about being an ape today. That's interesting. What a shocker. Shocker. Am I up? I would like you to push number one, and then I'd like you to talk, yes. Up next, there have been three Olympic Games held in countries that no longer exist. What those are, I have no fucking idea. You didn't check it? Hell no. Do you think Trinidad and Tobago is one because they changed the name? Or Myanmar? (laughs) Like, you know how they change names to like Myanmar and Trinidad and Tobago and uh, Ivory, Cote d'Ivory? Is that uh, Ivory Coast? I don't. I'm curious which. I'm curious what those countries are. Uh, sure. Uh, you meet two Tambian. I I'm with you. I do you think Antarctica? Do you think the penguins had one? Yeah, the Pittsburgh Olympic, Penguins. <laughs> hey, they did pretty well in the Team Canada. Oh. You know? Three Olympic Games held in countries that no longer exist. That's crazy. I'm surprised. Well, I guess countries that no longer exist, it's got to be somewhere in Africa or where there's just so much turnover or something. Wouldn't you think? Well, Russia. That would I be mean, one. the USSR. Yeah, so right? that would be one. Okay, that's probably definitely one then. Uh, that's a great point. Berlin was, was Germany. Germany. It's but that, still Germany. But th- then they became East Germany, West Germany, right? Then they became so Germany it be again. East, it could be in East Germany they had one. Or West Germany. They but, did have one in West Germany for sure, yeah. The Berlin Games. But in Berlin, was that, what year was that, 72? 70 something, right? Because they had the, didn't they have the terrorist They had act a boycott they, and all that shit. Well, they had a terrorist act, right? Yes, they killed, correct. Uh, the it's, Israeli team or correct, something. Correct, yeah. But there was, so there you go. We just figured so it out. two. At well, least two. And it could be West Germany. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to do some. Damn, we're smart. Kind of sometimes. A crack research team. Get on we that. are our own crack research Find team. Find our third one. But CCCP to Soviet Union, USSR, whatever they are now, Russia, well, that one makes yeah. total sense. And East or, well, the Berlin one would be West Germany. Well, but in 1936, it was just Germany, correct? Right. And then it became two other countries. After And then it became one country again. Correct. So does that, is that semantics to the question? Well, West and East Berlin no longer exist. Or West Germany and East Germany no longer exist. But in 36, they didn't exist either. But it was in the 70s that it did. Okay. Now, okay. So 36 did not, but 70s did. I'm going to guess the 70s, what, okay. there was East and West Germany or in 72 like or 76, whichever one it was. And right. then it was 80, 84, 88 and all that. Um, that is really interesting though. So we found at least two of them, I think. I bet we could just beer Google it while we're talking, but I'm not going to do that. Why would you I know what's really cool? In 1984, the Olympics were in L.A., right? And so I grew up there. I was in eighth grade. Sure. And that was the year that basketball, you had to be an amateur. Pros couldn't play. So they the, the basketball was held at the Los Angeles Forum in L.A. in, in Inglewood, bad neighborhood. But... My dad and I went up to a bunch of games and I got to see Michael Jordan play because it was before, right before he became pro, but right before he got drafted. Yep. So I got to see him play. And then, of course, they won the gold medal and I got to see him play a bunch of times and got to see some other so swimming, diving, and uh, the bicycling, the outdoor bicycling was a quarter mile from my house on these big, huge hills. It was really cool. That's really awesome. So I got awesome. to see all kinds of stuffs. Did you get to see the velodrome? I did not, the, the but I did get to go to the, I get, to, I got to go to the Coliseum where the track and field was. I didn't get to see events, but I played in a shitty little eighth grade marching band and we got to go to the Coliseum and play one song and then got to leave. Nice. That sounds Alto like sax, bitches. I'm familiar with sax. Like a um, Norwegian? The Norwegian's not feel familiar with sax at all. He's okay. only familiar with his own sax. You sax. Sell sax. Okay. How much do you think an Olympic medal costs, bro? $66. Why didn't you go 666? Because uh, I'm too cheap. Baphomet behind us? Yeah. You're Satanist? <laughs> yes. Did you see that tweet? Someone said, hey, I joined, I, 
I'm I'm saying this here's I'm waiting for my pack like for for my welcome gift or whatever like is their welcome kit what i don't know it's pretty awesome i don't I'll know what to you, share it with you i don't know what you're talking about i think it was on lucian's site and i'm was not like, a oh, satanist cool. you dipshit i know you're not bro a, oh my god for every olympic games though yes a unique design for the medals is created supposed to show the culture and the symbols of the host country so the weight of the medals may vary besides since the 1912 stockholm olympics the medals are not made from pure metals so since 1912, they're not pure metals, but are only covered with them. So they're gold plated, or plate silver, or br- yeah. right. I would think bronze would be a real metal because that's a cheap ass metal, isn't it? Just a mix of metals. Isn't or is that brass? What's bronze? a penny made out of? All kinds of shit: zinc, copper, bronze, brass. Okay. Anyway, in Peng- Pingyang, China, the gold medal was covered with approximately six grams of gold. So it is pointless to melt these prizes and sell the metal. However, the trophies can cost from twenty dollars to fifty dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, twenty to fifty thousand dollars in auctions. What trophies? The gold medals, the medals themselves. Oh, like, like uh, do you remember? Do you ever hear the story about Ali? Ali got screwed out of the gold medal, or he lost. He lost it, but the story was he threw it into the lake or something. And he, they remember in '96 they presented him with a new gold medal. No, you remember that whole story. Allegedly, he threw it in a lake or lost some weird thing. There's a whole story around. Was that '96 in Atlanta when he when he when he came he, up and lit the he lit the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was, I was like a I was like an eight year old with a skin knee that day, man. I cried so much was watching him, like just with the shaking, shell of a man, yeah. like <sighs> greatness. That guy was watch any of his stuff, man. That guy was the best, absolutely. Don't slow I need some more coffee. Yeah, maybe you should put the camera on you then. Oh, sorry. Did you know Greece, not lightning, Greece is the only country to have participated in every Olympics under its own flag? No shit. No poopy. So we were talking about that prior to this? Flags, yes, sir. We brought this up. And, well, it has to be true because I was thinking the first thing I thought. Because it's on the internet, bro. Well, it's kind of. Of course it's true because it's on the internet. But I was thinking America. And then America. what do we come up with? What, what we come up we with came up that? with the fact that um, the American flag has changed a few times because uh, stars and shit. Yeah, so there's at least yeah. probably three states. Twelve. Three. Because well, Arizona's 1912. And Hawaii and Alaska were like 48, four, 49. 1948, yeah. So it might have been, tw- it might have been three times because if, I don't remember, was it 30, there was 36, 40, 44, 48. So 48 prior to 48, there was only 48 stars, right? So there, so that one would have been 48 and then there would have been a 49th right after that one. And then it changed again. So it may have been three, might've been three different flags. Yeah. Interesting. It's it's weird. Like I I had no idea that Greece is the only country to have participated in every Olympics under its own flag. So like the Canadian flag changed, the Mexican flag changed. I'm like, what? That's crazy. I wonder if Mexican was just green, white, red, and then they added the... Was an eagle, the eagle, is, is an eagle with the with the arrows writing. and the snake in its teeth. And what the fuck did Canada, Canada do? They changed from the pot leaf to the maple leaf. How? What, they what changed they from doing? the maple leaf to the pot leaf. Oh, now they're in the they're red yeah, pot. It's correct. It's green red pot. Red pot, but it's a red flag, bro. Oh, uh, it well, it's still green, red stripes, just green leaf. What? No, man. <laughs> maybe maybe it's marijuana's time of the month. Oh, Canada, Canada. Oh, I love Canada. Sure, people there are so nice. Like proper. Eh? Saskatchewan. I can't do it. Can't. can't That's pretty good. Um, It's beautiful, man. Tell me more about this. That's all I got. Greece, flags, and stuff. But I'd be interested to know, like, how did the British flag change? I mean, it's only, it's been 120 years, give or take a little bit. So. I feel like there's. there's The French flag. Did that change? How the fuck? Yeah. Because that's pretty basic. That's a very basic flag. I mean, flag. it doesn't get much more complicated. Maybe it was less, maybe it was just a blue and white. Or maybe they maybe. changed the amount of, like, stripe. oh, they changed the width of each stripe or some shit like that. They've done that before. I mean, I got nothing. I'm, I almost am, I'm almost uh, really, really enticed to not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want to know all these answers, but I'm too lazy to even go- beer Googles it. Like your fingers aren't working? Okay. Moving on. You, you used to like car racing. I why, did. Why'd you give up the car racing? Uh, when the in the, the 
the IndyCar League, they split into two leagues like 15 years ago. And I was like, nope. What about F1, though? Yeah, and I, and then when uh, Michael Schumacher retired, I was like, ah, uh, I don't really like anyone that's up and coming. So I was just like, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> now Mr. Hamilton's crushing you, right? In the F1? Yeah, he's won like two not, years. Do two. you not like him? Or? No, I don't, I don't have anything against anyone, but I'm just so far removed from from it. And then I now I'll see five minutes of a race. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with that car? It's got some weird it ass funky, and then it goes around shits. the turn, and it has, it almost like bends around it's the turn. So it's really, different from yeah. what I'm used to that I'm like, yeah, whatever. It looks like a fucking spaceship. Yeah, yeah the there's some race. weird safety features and shit now. Pretty cool. And it's really strange. Well, definitely better than the '70s for safety features. Oh, right? where well, they didn't exist. Where they all fucking died. Yes. And, like you could have a fucking fender bender, and 14 people died. It's pretty fucking nuts. That was pretty fucking. They nuts. got caught in fire. Did you see the recent one with the fire? No. Uh. Who what versus somebody came around the corner, caught on fire. He climbed out, walked out, totally okay. Wow, the whole fucking thing was engulfed. It was unbelievable. Like that just tells you how far we've come. It's a good name for a metal band. Engulfed, and we put engulfed in flames. <gasps> in flames is already a metal. Band. I know, but that should be their album title. Engulfed in flames. Engulfed. engulfed. I to, will to talk to, to my people. Yeah, talk to your people. To his people. Can yeah. your people talk to their people? Yeah. All right. I'm I'm on it. Are there any professional race drivers that don't have a driver's license? Yes. I have no idea. You liar. I, I don't know. They all have Red. chauffeurs, bro. Dutch car racer, Max Verstappen. Verstappen, I know him. Yep. Verstappen, he's very good actually. Got his got his driver's license only after he became the youngest racer to have ever taken part in Formula One competitions. He'd been driving for six months before the government officially allowed him to drive a car. In 2016, the organizers of the races adopted a rule which prohibits people who don't have their driver's license from taking part in competitions. Huh. That's interesting. That's a really interesting one. What are your thoughts on that? I think that's dumb. I think if you're a good driver, I mean, a good race car driver, not a good driver, then fuck it, who cares? I mean, if you've been racing, because these guys usually start... In go karts when they're four, right, and then next, then they're move, then they're already in Formula One when they're eighteen, nineteen, because their reaction time is so good, and they're so b- ballsy, right? Like they're gonna take the corner in front of everyone else because they don't give a shit because they're nineteen. So, remember I, Paul Tracy? In of Indy? course, yeah. That guy was in the front or second place all the time. He would always never finish races because he'd always always do something fucking crazy to try to get. It's like, bro, it's a fucking marathon, not a sprint. Well, he was a different kind of dude. But But I also think it's kind of like the way I equate it is that, hey, I'm 18. I can join the Marine Corps or the Navy and die for my country, but I can't have a beer. That's fucking stupid. So you can vote and join the military and give your life, but I can't have a Budweiser? That's dumb, in my in my opinion. There's two reasons for that, though. I can speak to the Budweiser thing. Sure, because eighteen eighteen is a perfect time to get killed and get shot. First of all, um, the reason do you uh, know why twenty one became the actual age? Uh, There's an actual scientific uh, thought behind it. Yes. What's what is it? I don't. I forgot. Okay. Well, back <laughs> in the day, you live in California, but we we had bridge and tunnel shit, so we lived in the tri-state area. In Philadelphia over there, we had New Jersey and we had New York. So we were all like right all on top of each other. So people, the drinking age was 21 in Philadelphia. You go over the bridge, you go at 18, you drink, and you come back drunk and you get in a crash and die. So it used to be states' rights, right, before it was a national 21 uh, yes, thing. yes, I do. So yeah, I do re- know that. Yeah, the yeah. reason they did a national is just to avoid that. No, I'm okay with that. But the second, the reason it's 21 is because, according to science, the liver is mature at 21. At 18, it's not completely mature to handle alcohol, process it. You could do a lot more liver damage. So they they made it 21. I don't care. You should care. I think that they should lower it to some that 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 the. the Age to enlist in the military and the age to drink should be the same. Well, then move that up to twenty one. Yeah, move them up to nineteen and a half. What about what about what about uh, voting then? Yeah, same thing. Move it up to twenty one. Nineteen and a half. Split the difference, bro. Bro, bro. The liver's not ready yet. I don't care about my liver. Does it look like I care about my liver? (laughs) 
You don't care about all the mirrors in your house, I'll tell you that much. Uh, oh, what? I don't know, bro. I, I was talking shit. I don't anyway, have very many. <laughs> I, I have a thought about this one, though. Sure. I don't think it's necessarily about the skill to drive a car. I think it's to make an age, to make an age limit. So you know how uh, NBA ba- uh, college basketball, the NBA, you have to be nineteen. No, 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 nineteen. No, that's to be not able true. To yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, you have to be one year removed from high school. That's correct, but reg- but it's generally nineteen. But it's one year removed, so you could be as young as eighteen. I mean, how many young? There aren't, well, there yeah, aren't many you, people graduating sixteen. You, My, but the it's point not is, nineteen. There is a but there's a flat number to that, and I think it changed to flat nineteen though. Or it's one or the other, whichever comes like flat first. Stanley, but different. Irregardless, <laughs> there is a number, right? The f- NFL had it. The NFL still does. Everyone it's has three it. Three right. years they removed from high it. school, right? So it makes sense by doing it this way. They're guaranteeing at least that U.S. drivers in F one Formula One, which doesn't exist, by the way, right? What are there American drivers in Formula One? Oh, I have no idea. I don't think so. It's pretty much Europe, right? Europe, uh, Asia. Yeah, there aren't many Americans driving. I Formula have 1. no idea, but I would, would agree be, with you. Yeah. That would be sixteen, right? Whereas Europe's eighteen, so it would it actually gives you almost like a natural cap to the young to the age of the driver going into the sport. So you're saying that you have to be at least sixteen to be a Formula One driver. I think you have to be at least eight. Well, in Europe, I think it's eighteen to I think- drive. Germany's 18. You drink at 16, you drive at 18. But that's because of the Autobahn, right? I, it's a it's a European thing. Dry, it's weird. We have it backwards. Like, we do it backwards from they do it. We drink after we drive. They drink. They're allowed to drink before they drink. They drink drive. while they drive. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> Only if they get caught, I guess. But um, So that would make sense, though. It would give you a whatever the whatever the age is to get your license in your country, that at least makes it, you can't be 13 and drive formula one. Cause you don't have your license. See what I'm saying? Yes. By making that a mandatory thing, they at least put an actual age cap of some sort on it, whatever that might be. Or age bottom or age bottom. Right. Minimum, bottom cap. Age minimum. Yeah. Oh, it's minimum. I like it. Yeah. That's, that's my thought on that. It's not really to punish the driver. Are you telling me that, that anyone can get a fucking driver's license, bro? Uh, I, I know a monkey. I, I have one. You, you're definitely a good driver. Uh-huh. Have you seen me take off my shirt? I got a sweater under there. That has nothing to do with your driving skills, no. bro. That's you're true. definitely definitely a good driver. You're a good driver. I know. And I think it's your turn. Moving on. The Boston Bruins of National Hockey League fame on their Stanley Cup for 1971-1972 title the year I was born spelled the word Boston with Q's. Instead of O's, B Q S T Q N Bruins. That's fucking crazy. I have no idea why. Was Bobby Orr Bobby Q R R also? Yes, he had a he had a barbecue name? restaurant. Bobby Q. How did you know? Bobby Q. Bobby Q. Duh, Bobby Q. That's the weirdest fucking thing. Very strong J. Is was this written by Boston? Because everything here is Boston. Not everything. No, I know, but it's got a lot of Boston shit. Uh, fucking Boston. How are it's not a big city, and yet they have a lot of sports titles. A lot of fucking sports titles for the well, size. They're of the definitely city a sports team, sports city, bro. They're definitely a sports city. But I'm saying, like, Philadelphia's bigger. Yeah, of course. By a lot, and they not, they've got, like, one of each. That's it. They got two Phillies, two Flyers, one Sixer, and one Super Bowl. That's all they have. One Super Eagle. Boston has 11 with Will, or I'm sorry, with Bill Russell alone. No, Russell. Right? And how many since? They had four or so with Paul Pierce, two or three with Paul Pierce. They had, they even take away the baseball, which was 100 years between, but they had hockey. Well, it, how many Patriots? The Red Sox had three in the past 20 years. Yes. Yeah, look at that. New England's 16 had, years specifically. New England's had six fucking championships. Yeah. St- Super Bowls. I know they're not. They're New England. I like their old helmet. In Boston. The old, where the guy looks I like, like the white up. helmet when he's snapping the ball. Yeah, you do. Duh. You like that position. I like. When Bill Parcells brought in the silver with that cool, yeah, that was cool Bledsoe. too. Except for Bledsoe, well, was, then Bledsoe went down and Breeze or uh, Brady. Yeah, went Drew in Brees and definitely. Done. Drew Brees. You know he broke fucking eleven ribs wow. in his last hit. Yeah. So what happened was he got hit. He's been out for like a couple of weeks. They're like, oh, you have two broken ribs. Then he comes back. Oh, you have four broken ribs. Oh wait, you have eight. You have eight broken ribs. And then we, he had eleven. I don't even know how many ribs we have. Is it's that? Like, do we have fourteen or thirteen? Is that like a rack of ribs? An entire rack. He broke hit. a rack of ribs. 
and not a baby back rack either. Like a full rack. I want my breezy, back breezy, back breezy, back breezy, back breezy, back breezy, uh, back breezy, back. I want my breezy, back belly, baby, back belly. How much for you, baby? <laughs> my baby. <laughs> I got a turtle head poking out. So Boston Bruins is spelled <gasps> Buxton Yeah, Bruins. see, it's just like chlamydia. They're silent cues. <laughs> that's an H. Uh, where's the H at? Uh, that's missing. in Bruins. Ah. Uh, Boston Bruins. 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 Yes. Bra. Bruins. Bruins. Like, bra. 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 I like it. <laughs> That's terrible. That's awful. Man. Fucking terrible. Pool tables. Yeah. What colors are felt? Uh, you when you go to a bar and you're drunk, what color? What colors are you? Well, that one place in Tempe was called Pinkies. They were pink. Yeah, I don't care about Pinkies. I care about Mill Avenue Q Club, bro. Oh, green, bro. Yeah, green. Yeah. Why do uh, most have green on them? Uh, I would say to make them look like grass. That's a very good point. In 1870s, they were orange. What? Which is weird, yeah. Why? I don't know, but I'm about to tell you. Oh, I'm excited. Because I've got, I've got reading skills. You have my, all the information. But my comprehension is still shitty, so I won't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> wah, You're going to have to translate for wah, me. Wah, okay? wah, wah. It's believed the pool originated from croquet. 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 Crooked? Is that French? It's before tubs. It's tub. No, it's Crockett. on Miami Vice. Tubs. It's like the opening song of ours is like that. What? Miami Vice. Yeah. Crockett. Tubs. tubs. Yeah. So is croquet French? Yes. Is that where it originated? Croquet, I would guess. That's why most tables are covered with green cloth. Just like the grass. Grass. Holy shit, I was totally right. There was a different I version. I had no idea. I was just be, I was just guessing. That's beautiful, man. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yay uh, me. Good detective skills, Sleuth, uh, Sleuth Peralta. Thank, thank, thank you. You there's, win nothing. There's a different version before 1871, though, where the cloth was mostly orange. Why? But when there was not enough light, it was hard to see the exact motion of the balls on the table. It often used to lead to arguments among players. The green cloth solved this problem. Red and white balls are clearly visible against the background. I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. Therefore, never start a land war in Asia. <laughs> when death is all the line. Are you ready, bro? Anything else on orange tables? Ask me. Are you ready, bro? Indubitably. <laughs> you keep using that word. In 1991, many moons ago, Sports Illustrated, it's a magazine for you young people out there, predicted that the National Football League of 2001 would have a 20-game season. They currently have a 16-game season. 40 teams, they currently have 30 including squads in London, Paris, Berlin, Tehran, Johannesburg, Bombay, Jakarta, that's a silent D, by the way, Sydney, Auckland, and Mexico City. Uh, Sports Illustrated predictions is a little off because that was 19 years ago, and none of that shit's true. Back to you, checkmark. London, London UK, Paris, C. France, Berlin, Germany, yeah. Tehran, Iran. Yes, Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. Bombay, India. Yep. Jakarta in Jakarta is I think that's Indonesia. Indonesia, isn't that? I, that's yes. What we correct. Because they have two hundred and seventy eight million motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, Sydney, Sydney, Australia, Auckland, New Zealand, and Mexico City, Mexico. Wait, Mexico City's in Mexico? It is. No, it's not. It is not Get out. in Texas. It it's is not Paris, in, Texas? No. Damn it. Well, it's interesting. Tehran, Iran. But this is this is my thought on this. Yeah. They were calling their shot. Like, imagine if they, any of that came true. They would look like fucking geniuses. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Go, oh, yeah, look. There's one in uh, you know, London, even. Even if it was London and Paris alone. Because they had the world. They were trying to do the World League back then, too. Like, they were really ramping up NFL there. but And it was growing so, like, much. But it's stalled now since. Well, think about the air travel. But Tehran, and, Iran. Yeah, and that's a, uh, isn't that. Tehran, it's Iran. It's not a communist country, it's right? It's a theocracy. What's what's theocracy? By God, the the Ayatollah. Ayatollah. Right. So the, it's, is it the Ayatollah? A rock and roll of rock and roll. Yes. Stitch Jones. Stitch Jones. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What's interesting about that? I I had a thought about if they had Europe or anywhere else, right? Well, my thought would be this: every team that play, they'd play four games in the United States. Yeah. 
then eight games at home, and then the last four games in the United States. So they so would be abroad? There. Right. The reason they play the eight home games is the team that flies out to play them there, their next game would be a bye week. Okay. So they have eight, there would be eight weeks where they teams would get a buy after playing them. That would make a lot of sense or do it. However, do it that way. Yeah. And that wouldn't hurt the teams. If you do a well, bye you week get after. The, you get the, which time zone adjustment, right? You need what, the la- jet, lag. The jet lag. Cause yeah, yeah, coming yeah. back is where you get the lag. Yeah. Actually it's, I think it's going westbound. I think is where you get really lagged. Westbound and down. to do with the way the earth spins. I forget which way it is, but it's worse one way than the other allegedly, but that one makes sense though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. You ever run track? I watched it. Have you ever run it? No, I like napping. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, I'm like, that's actually a sport. I will battle you for the gold medal, bro. Well, I'll battle you for the couch to stay on it, and you ain't gonna be on. There's only one couch, two people. That's all you got. <laughs> Thunder <You> got- couch. <laughs> it's like musical couches. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, it's like a uh, Highlander. There can be only one on the couch. Uh, is there a sword on the couch, or how is that gonna work? The question is this, though, man. Yes. Why do athletes run around the stadium counterclockwise? It's not clockwise? Think about it. They always run to the left. They're always turning left, bro. It Even is race counterclockwise. Ca- race car drivers, everyone's turning left. To the There's- left? What? Yeah. Why? Only road courses do even turn right, correct? Who? Only road courses would you ever make a right turn. Everything's turning left. Yeah. That- All even. Every, even for, does Formula One have one single oval race? No, of course not. Not one. No. Okay, but but he, cart does. They have a lot of oval, and yeah, like they have half, road. Yes. Right, it's like a half half kind yeah. of thing, or cart indie, whatever. Which one exists now? Is I don't this, know. I don't know either. Do they still both exist? I don't think so. I'll tell you. Whoever indie, wh- whoever does the Indy five hundred, that's who. It's that. Yeah, league. but it was cart Indy five hundred one time. It wasn't. Yeah, because it was. It, I, indie it was the Indy racing. League. It was IRL right. and cart, and that was fifteen years ago. Right. And then I don't know what happened. If they like rejoined or. It was stupid. It was, it's totally dumb. And then when they redesigned Long Beach Grand Prix, I didn't like the way the track was done and I lost interest in that because they made turn one different and turn one was amazing and they made it left instead of right and I was like, or vice versa. And I was like, that they fucked it up. So I was like, fuck off. Doesn't sound like a bitch fest at all, man. Oh, poop. You're supposed to hit me or something. You gotta turn the fucking turn one. Sorry. So athletes, run, <laughs> athletes and cars run counterclockwise. There are several different opinions, though. Some people believe that the tradition came from ancient Rome, and in the past, people chose the direction of running based on the infrastructure conditions. What? That sounds weird. Others think that most athletes are stronger right legs when running counterclockwise. They will do most of the work. Oh. This is why army commanders preferred, if it was possible, to circle their enemies counterclockwise. I had no idea about that second part. I thought that was pretty awesome. Huh. So they, yeah, because your right leg is stronger. Because you're right-handed. Most people yeah, are mo- right-handed. Most people. So you'd be or your dominant right side. Dominant. Yeah. So that would, you'd push off a lot more on the outside because that's go, going further, right? It's actually taking more steps because it's actually a further distance. Yes. Makes total sense. Plus, my left leg being shorter. You're Dude, I just pivot. Pivot! <laughs> pivot! Pivot! <laughs> you should see how quick I can fucking turn a corner. Oh, I can't run sh- fast, but I can turn quick. Wow. Yeah. But it may... Oh, uh-huh. let... um, Yeah, the army thing's cool. I thought that was weird. No, but I think it's your turn. Army thing is very cool. This is it, bro. This is my last one. Well, you're going to take one of mine. I'm going to take one of yours? Yeah. I'm okay. take the last one because that one's fun. Sinatra. Frank Sinatra which has nothing to do with sports, had the first right of refusal to play John McClane in Die Hard because of a contractual clause from his role in The Detective. Die Hard's source material, a book by Roderick Thorpe, or Thorpe B, was the sequel to The Detective. Then, the age of 73, the chairman of the board turned down the role, obviously. Can you imagine? What? Frank Sinatra as John McClane. Shoot, Shoot the glass. The glass. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you guys are doing with your fancy bingy bongy bongs and your dongy dingy dongs. <laughs> Let me sing a song. I've got my feet in a ball and I'm on the carpet. <laughs> Is this, uh, what is that, Die Hard, Die Hard with the Vengeance Lounge? 
Coming on down Coming to the West down. Coast. It'll be great, they say. Hey, Hans Gruber's going to love this one. <laughs> Dude, uh, These yeah. boots are made for walking. Nancy's my daughter. I think. Hey, now. You get to do the. You get to do two. I'm excited, bro. And the reason you get to do the next one is because you pre-cogged it. Do you have uh, it? It's you my, it? I'm, I'm. It's the one after is the Is it number 12, sir? It's number 12, sir. You get to tell about this one, then I go, and then you close it out, my All friend. All right, here we go. Why are balls, oh, sorry. Why are tennis balls? Blue. Why are my balls blue? <laughs> I can tell you why my balls are blue. I can tell you very straight <laughs> why my balls are blue. <laughs> <laughs> why are tennis balls neon yellow? In the beginning. To see better. Tennis balls were black and white, depending on the surface of the court. But when the colorized television appeared, the rules had to be changed, and the balls have been neon yellow ever since then. The thing is, black and white balls were too hard for viewers to see, and something neon yellow is very easy to see. That's fucking stupid. That's no about sh- the re- redundancy of department. That's no shit. Uh, hey, department. hey, Frank, what? I can't see those. I paint them yellow. Hot pockets. Yeah, um, just the just the statement that neon diarrhea pockets. The statement that crustable pockets, uh, <laughs> crustable diarrhea. Uh, the statement that neon is easier to see than other colors. Oh, like, shit. thanks for that fucking epiphany. I don't even like epiphany. Epiphany isn't. Epiphany isn't what? didn't Epiphany did that song in the eighties? Her and Debbie Deborah Gibson. Deborah Epiphany. Epiphany. Oh, it's Tiffany. Shit, I fucked that one up. Oh, it's, it rhymed, bro. I was, I, did, I was a stretch. Oh, 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 the right stuff. All right, bodybuilder, let's do it, bro. Bro, you work out. This guy's huge in Japan. This guy's this guy's huge in general. Well, I did a push up, so you know. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You know why bodybuilders got the large veins? Why they got them veins popping out? Why you got to ask that question in that accent? Because I'll tell you why in a second there. Because I'm because I'm working out. Are you huge in Japan? I got a tank top on, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now why. (laughs) You need to know how arteries work, sir. Arteries. They, They bring blood from the heart to the tissues. Okay. And veins bring the blood. Back to the heart. I actually did not know that. Yeah, did I? Isn't that great? We actually <laughs> yeah. learned a science thing on the beer Googles. Congratulations. Yeah, I feel us, very good about that. We haven't had a single story about anything. This I told really you about us. the LA Olympics in 84. I know, but we didn't story time. Man. That's, I, I, I kind of was just going to. I feel you it. should tell a story in the last one because I think that's that's your favorite one. Because that's the one about the shark skin suits about the swimmers. Yeah. On number 14 in a second. No, However, it's not. Yeah. I, well, that, that's the same science that goes behind it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. According to doctors, athletes have such visible blood vessels because the blood in their veins flows slower than the blood in their arteries. This causes elevated pressure in the veins. Wow. So I didn't. So is that a good thing or is that actually a bad thing? Uh. So arteries taking the blood to the body parts is faster than the, the return trip. So it creates pressure, and that's what pops out. That doesn't. It seems like there should be an even exchange of blood going out and coming in. And why did they call one veins and one arteries? Why wouldn't they call them the same thing? I mean, well, they're both. If they both carry blood, right? Right. One's just going one way. One's going the other way. I would feel like that would make sense though to do it because it would be like, hey, his artery is going. Oh, I know what the artery is. I know where the arteries are. They're different. Why wouldn't they just call it vein in, vein out? Or yeah, it's a good question. Um, I would almost argue that by making it that distinct it's kind of like a road that has two different names yeah so like up in prescott it's got like five names right like montezuma <laughs> road is like iron wood or iron iron Hill. crotch right. yeah right sure right all those right but it's like well i know exactly what that section is so i know the arteries are the ones removing the blood okay that's what my thought is i don't know I can uh, okay. but I, oh God. i do know this is called it's called vascularity Cause when I was, I used, when I used to lift a lot and was super into this kind of shit and there was guys at the gym that they would take stuff to make their veins pop out. Like it was a thing like they wanted, they were trying to get their veins to come out. Correct. And I'm like, well, if you just lift a lot and you drink a lot of water, they 
naturally come out, but they were taking supplements that, you know, it wasn't like steroids, but there was, over, you could go to GNC or what, you know, health, blah, 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 dot, whatever. And there was powders and pills and shit to make your fucking veins pop out. Right. Well, that's weird what it was. shit, dude. My body did, my buddy did bodybuilding. And that's the other part of that you were talking about. It's actually like a chili powder oil that they spray and it burns. Oh, I didn't know about actually, that shit. It actually pulls the veins out because it makes you uh, look. Well, it's because for the competitions, you well, need yeah, to look at like that point, so big. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But these guys, yeah, these guys are vain though. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> They're vain about their veins. Oh, that's fantastic. That was, so <laughs> that was great. Vain. I, that was totally unintentional. You're I wish I would have so written vain. That I bet you think you this podcast so is about vain. you. I bet these veins are about you. Don't you? I'm glad everyone can see you play air guitar. I think you did. Boom. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. No, but so, yeah, so these vein motherfuckers are just doing it because their veins need to be vain. Very strange, dude. We've got, we've got one more. Una mas? And then we're going to call it. It's Holy shit, did that really happen? Final countdown. We paid, atten- we paid attention today, right? No, we never pay attention. I feel sir. like I feel like we try to stay on topic today. Yeah. Before we close it out. Yeah. Could could we ask that you please uh, follow us, rate, review, download, subscribe, uh, and other stuff. All the other stuff. Go on Do the Twitter and, and the Facebooks, the Beer Googles and the Insta crotches, double E, double O, double G, and stuff. Yeah. Please. Beer Googles dot com. Beer Googles dot com. Yeah. That gets us right there. We're on Apple, the uh, Spotify, Knox the Google. Con on the Instagram at KnoxCon on the Insta and. I just, thanks for the reminder. I need to take a picture. Beer Google Google goals. And sir, to close out. Why does Checkmark have such cute dimples? I mean. I, I, cause I Russian. I, I, I think you need to be on you, sir, for closing. Oh, muy, uh, lo siento. Why do golf balls have dimples? Because they're so cute. Um, I know why, but please tell me. The dimples on golf balls influence its speed. And trajectory. It is a fact. Without the dimples, balls only fly 50% of the distance they fly with the dimples. But accuracy is key here. Aha! Even the smallest differences from the standard size, the dimples are blah, 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 don't care, will change its characteristics. By the way, most golf balls have between 300 to 500 dimples, so 400. Uh, so why is it that my golf ball always goes way too right and hits someone's house? Because it's called slice, bro. It's called a slice, bro. Can I get an anti-slice dimple, please? Well, this is interesting. Yes. Because, um... Later. Accuracy is key, which is why they're specifically, like, equidistant stuff, I'm thinking, Right. So it's not like they're dimples on half of it. It's like no. entire, the entire thing's dimpled exactly equidistant from each other. Correct. Because that would, it needs to be uniform yes. for it to work. Did you ever hear the story of how the dimpled ball came to be? No. Uh, I don't know if it's part of the story, Tom. Why don't, don't you advise me of it, however? I will. I am interested. So some motherfucker was playing with the same ball and it kept getting more and more bashed. Like it started getting like wear on it. Oh, they didn't. It didn't have dimples to begin with. No golf right. balls had dimples. Yeah, this guy kept playing with. I don't know if it was a lucky ball or something like that. But the etymology is he kept playing, and then he found out the more he was playing with it, the further it was going because because of the way the air was getting caught in the dimples, and that's what actually the spin and all that. That's what allows it to cruise as much as it does, and that's what that same shark skin thing about the swimmers. Yeah, it has. It creates those little eddies and currents. Yeah. That's really interesting, dude. Yeah. Close this out, bro. Uh, that's all I got, dude. What else we got? What, what has this been, Tur? Okay, please, uh, this has uh, been Beer Googles. This. Yes. And it's been weird sports statistics and stuff. And if you're a Norwegian Olympian, please stop watching all that horrible stuff and pay attention to the peoples around you, bro. Yes. And please, can can I turn off my cookie so pocket rockets don't end up on the top of my You got banner. a problem with pocket rockets, bro? Do you like do you just like camping? What's what's the story? Well, I I think I don't need competition in the. <laughs> I was talking about, I was talking about cooking your food when you go camping, dude. And you're talking about a lady pleasure device. I am. Um, I love gas, but I'll just fart if I need gas cooking out in the, out in the camping world. You just have some beans. <laughs> some be- red beans and rice didn't miss her. Some oh, nothing one to dis. These girls are on my list. 
Isn't that baby got? I think baby's yes, got front. Yes, sir. Oh, see, how come nobody's ever gone like, dude's got front, 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 <laughs> front, front? Because like, wouldn't you want a bigger front too? Sir, like, marks, if you were a woman, sir marks a lot. Sir marks a lot. Once, yeah, I like like women should be like, I like big fronts, and I cannot lie. Can I? Those can bulges I, can't deny. Can I tell you a t-shirt that I got? A golf yeah. t-shirt. Yes. I like big putts, and I cannot lie. It's terrible. I've been watching Battle Bots on uh, Discovery How's Channel. How's that working out for you? It's fun, but they like big bots and they cannot lie. <laughs> and I'm just like, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's funny, though. It is funny, but it, yeah, it is funny. And then when watching Metal on Metal and Carnage, I love I it. love Metal on Metal. Metal on Metal. Yeah. Because so. it's, you know. Well, I reached out. You did? To touch something. No touching. This has been another Beer Googles. T-Bone. Double E. Double O. Double G. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah. Rate, review, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the new bumper music. Bumper, bumper. bumper. It was pretty good, right? Yeah, Live I did it. I loved it. Christopher, and, I love uh, you, man. If you guys, two champion. Uh, if you guys have anything uh, weird sports stuff, leave a comment. Yeah. Why is it that Philadelphia is filled with all the P's and no F's? I yeah. don't know. Tell us. And why is it also called Philadelphia or Negadelphia? Uh, right Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Why isn't it the P Philadelphia pterodactyls? I, you know, the pterodactyls would be the great Philadelphia team in I the know. history of Philadelphia. Everyone would be scared but shitless. <laughs> you mean sahitless? Yes. Yes, sahitless. We get the so, syphilis. Thank you. You know, another time warp. We're not, did we really do this for an hour and a half? How the fuck did this happen? Like, let's do the time warp. Again. Can I do that? You did. Like seriously, we were totally paying attention seriously? and we we're trying to stay on top. Seriously. Tell us what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this one. Add another beer, Googles. We're just messing around. Next one, I'm sure, is going to be not conscious. Stop it. Yeah. Why? I don't know, bro. Take his hair. Call it out, sir. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Party on.